Hey guys, Seb Bud here, and it's about that time for a new episode of The Running News. If you enjoy The Running News, you enjoy shoe reviews, you enjoy all the other stuff that I'm doing here, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications of when the new videos launch. And if you're thinking this video is all right, please give it a thumbs up like. So story number one today revolves around ASICs and the release of the Meta Racer. My good buddy Tim Gross is very keen to try and get his hands on this one. It's one of those big summer shoe releases that everyone's been waiting for and it looks like it's finally coming to the UK on the 12th of June. The Meta Racer Tokyo is complete with a USB port at the very front of the shoe. I'm joking. It's finally set to drop in that sunrise red colourway. I think it's a bit of a nod to the Tokyo Olympics that would have been taking place right about now. I think we all would have loved to have seen the Olympics happen. So many different events, things to get excited about, but alas, it's just not possible right now. I'm certainly excited about that drainage port that's at the front of the shoe. What a unique running shoe innovation. I think that's going to be the next big thing that we're going to see on all manufacturers' shoes, a drainage port. I'm kidding again. ASICs have actually listed the drainage port as one of the key features on the website. <laughs> I think they've been watching too many Ed Bud videos. There's a 9mm drop and I did see a 215 gram weight listed as well. I don't know what size shoe that's for. It does look like quite a lightweight, very minimal style racing shoe though. Let's hope that for Mr. Gross they've got some larger sizes and that he can come up trumps on this one. We've got the guide sole technology to roll you onto a new PB. It's clearly still part of ASICS's energy saving scheme of shoes. You've had the Glide Ride, the Evo Ride, they've all got that kind of rocker style. This one seems even more pronounced, I don't know if it's maybe just the press pictures that they've put out, but it does really look quite elf-like. There's flight foam in the midsole, but no ASICS high abrasion rubber this time. ASICS, what are you doing? Apparently this stuff's called ASICS grip that's on the outsole of the Meta Racer. So it'll be very interesting to measure traction on this new race offering. Could this be the new speed king we've all been waiting for? I'll tell you what, it's going to have to go some to improve upon this. This is one of the most exciting shoes I've worn in a long time. I can even hear the river. This one's going to set you back 180 Earth credits. So get saving guys and girls, it's coming soon. Story number two, New Balance are set to be offering athletic face masks very soon. I think they're launching them sometime in July. Alongside of that, they've also launched a line of washable, reusable public face masks too. The New Balance face mask version three will be available in packs of three. I think they cost just under $25. They're lightweight, breathable, just like their shoes, but also have got a molded nose piece. You can kind of mold it to the shape of your nose. They have quite a large nose. So hopefully it will be quite mouldable, if that's a word. Malleable, perhaps? You know what I mean. I think they made of three different layers. There's some TPU in there, I think. And they're going to be non-sterile, rewashable. I think it's more to prevent you spreading anything to anybody else rather than it coming the other way. I'm not a doctor. Or perhaps those are in need of a reusable option if you're using public transport often or you're going to be occupying confined public spaces. Could be a good option for you. Perhaps we'll see more athletic companies offering masks in the coming months, as the world seeks to return to some sort of normality, everybody's looking to try and return to safe competition again, certainly in racing. I think only limited quantities of the athletic style masks will be available on launch in July. It isn't clear as to what differences there are between the public ones and the athletic ones. Be quite interested to actually get my hands on some. With a lack of football to enjoy recently due to the lockdown across the world, I was really pleased to see the efforts of Nathan Richardson. Nathan started the mammoth task of running to all 92 English Football League clubs in early March. He did set off from his beloved Old Trafford, home of Manchester United, but had to curtail his charity efforts due to the COVID-19 lockdown. But he's back out there again. It's got to be the longest away day ever. I used to love going to watch Yeovil on away games. It was really, really fun. He must be getting a similar feeling. It sounds like lots of clubs are meeting with open arms. Well, you know, obviously saying hi to him from a distance. He's got back out there since the lockdown eased a little bit and he's been able to get to Man City, Salford, Liverpool and the Birmingham clubs amongst others. I think he's clocked up about 250 miles so far and I think by the end of this week he's going to have hit about 20% of the English Football League clubs. So far, Nathan's raised £2,500 for the Mind charity, and you can follow his challenge and see his progress over on his Facebook page. 
I will place that in the description. If you can, please do help out Nathan's charity efforts with this fantastic football-related run. I wonder if he's been refueling with orange segments, or perhaps a nice warm cup of Bob Roo. Golazzo! Oh, I used to love football Italia. James Richardson, man, that was good days, good days. Watching Football Italia with a roast dinner. You remember that? Story four for today. Nike have recently announced that over the next four years, it's gonna be giving out around $40 million to help support some organizations and non-profit charities that center their efforts on social justice, education, and addressing racial inequality. All of us have seen the changing times recently and that wave of enlightenment about long-standing racial issues all over the world. I think it's heartening to see an organization that quite frankly makes a lot of money finding some funds to help out some of those non-profit organizations, starting to address some of those issues that quite frankly a lot of people have just been dusting under the carpet and begin to provide some level playing fields for everybody. Only United across the world as one family can we make that happen. I think it is clear that Nike are trying over the last year to show a greater regard for diversity, inclusion and belonging. Long may that continue, removing ridiculous barriers that are present in regards to gender, race, religion, sexual orientation, that of course some people seek to build rather than take down. That's all the running news I've got for you for today. A film recommendation today. Now I know over in America that this film, Fever Pitch, was actually a baseball film. The original book that was written by Nick Hornby was based on Arsenal Football Club. I'm an Arsenal fan, although I'd suggest I'm probably more of a Yeovil fan. Gotta support your local teams. And this is a really great adaptation. The main character is a teacher, and uh, I particularly like a scene where the parents come to talk about some of the kids that he's teaching. They just want to talk football. It's really quite funny, they're like queuing up to speak to it. So do check this out if you can, if you can get hold of it. Uh, great film, Fever Pitch, starring Colin Firth. You can't be a bit of Colin Firth, right? Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching through to the very end. So many new subscribers, it's just wild. It's great. I'm really thankful, I'm really appreciative for all of you. Thanks for watching my strange videos. I hope they bring you some joy and some smiles. And I hope they're thought provoking sometimes. If you've enjoyed this one today and you're a new viewer, please do hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications below of when new videos are launched. If you've really enjoyed it, hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. Share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.